I've jacked the car up. Um, you can see it. It looks absolutely surreal. Um, it's jacked up around three or four feet at the front. The tailpipes are just, you know, they're, they're, they're a couple of inches off the ground. They look like they're touching, but in fact, they're not. It's taken me about an hour and a half. Um, I don't know if you can get a sense of how, how low that is and how, how unbelievably high it is at the front. It's taken me probably about an hour and a half you know, to get the car at this angle. Um, it's quite a nuisance because I've, I've, I've got very limited tools. I've just got a stupid little jack that doesn't work very well. I could do with a really big one, but I haven't got it. But uh, this, this almost comes up to my shoulder. Um, it's, but anyway, what, what I've done, I've, um, <laughs> yeah, it's just uh, squat down here. Um, as you can see, I've used um, wooden pallets and jacks and stands. What I need to be able to do is um, I've got, this is the, um, the coil spring press. And on, on the XJ6, on the fronts, it goes through, there's a, there's a hole in the bottom of that pan. And there's a, there's a hot, you, you I can't get the camera in, but you, it's got a nut on the top, so you undo the nut. Anyway, you have to get the car unbelievably high. Let me just try and uh, pop a glove on. I don't want to rip up my hands. I need to put on a safety glove. Um, you have to get it so unbelievably high, because look at, look at the length of the, you know, the, the, the compressor's about three foot long. Now then, that goes oh, through the hole here. But this is not going to work, I'm afraid. I've got the car high enough, just about high enough to get the um, get the press in. But I can't turn the handle because the, the pallet's in the way. You know, it's it's an absolute nuisance. It's taken me about an hour and a half to get the car this high. What am I going to have to do is take it down <laughs> and slice the pallets. The, the pallets are simply too wide. Um, so long as it's suspended, really really sort of well on the front cross member um, and, the, and, and it should be stable enough what i'm going to do is trim the pallets so we'll just have this we'll have we'll have two blocks rather than three blocks um you know i have to move the pallets further in and suspend it that way um you know it'll be you know it'll be fine on two blocks so long as there's enough you know enough you know enough what are these called you know just baseboards but oh i'm so disappointed I've, I've actually got the thing high enough um but as you can see the the um the handle the, on the uh, you know on the uh what it's called the press it's just going to bash into the side of the pallets i've done this once before um on a series one a 4.2 series one that was a manual it was a lovely car um i actually broke the fr the front coil springs they just fractured to be honest it was due to the way i drove it i drove it like a maniac and uh, uh, i broke the uh, i broke the spring so i had to change it and i remember now not using wooden pallets i was using um milk crates plastic milk crates and um you know i put a i put a stack of milk crates under the tires it's quite a, it's, it's quite difficult to get it up this high when you've only got a silly little jack like this and that's how it's half water it doesn't go as high as it should so it's quite a task getting it up on a big big workshop jack yeah it'll be up in no problem but yeah it's quite a, it's quite a challenge so i'll take it down i'll trim the pallets move the pallets over and then i'll ha i need it to be this high this is the height i need it three pallets plus the uh, plus the height of the um, of the axle stands um that's not that, yeah, that's not how I intended to leave it. I, I, it's, it's not stable enough. You know, I would have made it much more secure than that. But I've realised the job isn't good enough, so I'm going to take it down. So please don't criticise this out and look. You know, I'll be very, very, very careful. Um, I'll make sure it's absolutely stable. Um, so, yeah, what a nuisance. It's going to take me at least an hour to get this down. It'll probably take me an hour to chop through the pallets, then another hour to get this back up again. So... Um, I'll get this, hopefully I'll get this sort of uh, stable and ready to work on by the end of today, but I can't see me getting any work done on the dismantling, to, dismantling today. It's just, it's just so difficult to get the bloody thing so high. Ordinarily, you do this in a workshop, the car will be up on a, on a four-poster ramp, suspended on the chassis. We, it'll be suspended on the chassis with the suspension dangling. The wheels will be off by now, everything, you know, but obviously working in the street, yeah, this is the, this is the reality. And, uh, you know, it's, you know, I can't I can't get a, a full shot of how high this is but there's a there's a there's a there's a bin here gives you a let's move the bin over the bin you know how big these you know it's uh, 
it's massively higher than the bin. Um, it's just high, you, you, but it's necessary. That's the height you need to sort of, um, you know, to get that massive, uh, to get that massive long press in. Yeah, you, know, you really do need the height.